Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Muckle Lover, and thank you for joining me here in the Outer Worlds. The last time, in our last video, we actually got a new companion named Vicar Max. Now, let's go over to our inventory and stuff like that. So we've got quite a few things here. Um, we should probably, probably get rid of a few things. I don't think we need a shovel. I could be wrong. Let's just break it down. We'll break down... Ooh. If I break this down... I only get three weapons parts, so let's get rid of this. Thank you. Um, we have a level two revolver. There are ducks outside that are quacking at me, I guess. Uh, level seven, level nine. Ooh, level nine, level two-handed. Get rid of that, and we can get rid of this one too. Um, concerning armor. Level 9, level 4, level 17, and of course level 12. But we do have Parvati, right? Ooh, what armor do you have on? You need a helmet, Parvati. But we do have the good old Vicar. He's got a shotgun, which isn't bad. It's level 7, as well as a shock stick. Hmm, shocking. Light machine... Shotgun or light machine gun? I'm thinking I might just give him... The... There we go. Nothing says a religious guy like a light machine gun. Um, armor, you have level, level 10. I didn't think your armor would be level 10, though. Very nice. Better dialogue skills. Yeah, level 4, level 9. But we do have an upgrade point already for the Vicar. More health, that's alright. Threat generated, so they attack him more. Or less generated threats. Well, if I'm going to keep him around for now, I don't mind more hack skills. Let's do that for now. Next level would be Dialogue Combat Effect. Melee damage, armor... Alright, well, whatever. Cool. At least he has a bonus support hack. Cool. Um, oh, a little bit of lag. Hello, Parvati. But let's get out of the Emerald Veil. Let's we hack some stuff. Good. Like assault Rifle, Adreno... Alright. Let's talk to... Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. Ada. What can I do for you, Captain? I have a power regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? Nice. Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, engineering 20. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Nice. Our engine room is located behind you. Across the cargo bay, up the ladders. All right. I'll do it for the XP. Up the ladder we go. Oh, yeah. We were here before, like in episode two, I think. I think it was episode two. All right. Now things are kicking. Looks kind of like a bomb. Hope you don't blow. Whee! Didn't take any fall damage there. Hmm. What can I do for you, Captain? All right. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable <clears throat> into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Will we have space combat? Let's get out of here. Doesn't look that good. Can I get ship skins? Hmm. Against all odds, the unreliable takes flight. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. I thought I said Dr. Phineas and Ferb. Oh, no. <laughs> Good. Ah, there you are. Hail and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Maybe. Alright. Slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. 
the chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, uh, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Alright, very cool. Um, getting involved with the black market. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. Alright, um... I don't mind working with criminals as long as I can benefit, pretty much. That's the type of playthrough I'm doing here. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting-edge technology, years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. Alright, thank you. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. All right. So, I mean, it seems like Phineas is a good guy, and he wants to do the right thing. But I'm just wondering, is there a potential extra motive why he's doing all this? I mean, what he sounds, what it sounds like. Oh, Edgewater. It, I don't know, it just seems like he means well, but maybe there's an ulterior motive. I don't know. Holographic Shroud projects a disguise on you and your companions. That give you access to restricted areas, provided you have the correct ID cartridge for that area. Restricted areas are off limits to unauthorized personnel and otherwise result in being attacked on site. Well, maybe I want to kill them. Nice. Messages for Alex Hawthorne. Unread messages. Alright. Logs. Shrink ray. Hammer power. Black market leads. Huh. Well, just seeing if there's anything in there. Ooh, nothing. Oh, I can transfer stuff to the bin. Get Phineas's science weapon. Oh. You might want to consider changing your clothes more often. Do I smell? Well, how would you know? How would you know if I smell or not? What's up top here? I didn't exactly. Oh, it's the um, quarters. Thank you. The quarter. Wait. Sam. Okay. Yeah, I was here before, just checking this area out. Photo of the Parvati's father. I don't exactly want to... I can examine this stuff. I don't want to... I don't want to take this stuff. I mean, this is her stuff, but you know what? She won't mind. We, we both need it. Spade, yeah, we both need this. Ooh, a wrench. First wrench Dad ever gave me. She's been a friend ever since. Cool, Parvati. Uh, someone stole stuff from you. It wasn't... Captain Alex, who did it? I wonder if that's ever going to bite me in the butt, like, them discovering who I actually am. Doctrinal studies of equity and equations, examine. Yeah, I could use this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, toss ball trading cards. Art and science of toss ball. Vicar. By verity, by strength. What are we contemplating today? What's your story, man? Nothing too out of the ordinary. Just your run-of-the-mill vicar with a violently enthusiastic disposition. All right. Uh, that's what my parents called it. I grew up in a pit of a town much like Edgewater. I was destined to be a laborer like my parents, but I was infected early with a need to solve the equation. My passion didn't sit well with them. All right. What was he so passionate about? My parents, ironically. They internalized the precepts of scientism like no one I've ever known. They had a pure faith, 
A faith that brought joy to them regardless of the situation. I envied that. I wanted that peace. <clears throat> I thought if I became a vicar, I could find it. Or at the very least, find out why I lacked it. Alright, made kind of sense. Were they proud of you? They thought I was fighting the plan. Should have accepted my lot. Some people pursue the clergy for power, prestige. But that was not me. Alright. If you can't help but follow the plan, then everything you do is part of it, right? The plan is not one rigid path. There are a variety of multitudes contained within it. Our paths have variants, but we'll end up adhering to it, whether we like it or not. Some choices make the path smoother, some rougher. You can even go outside the lines, but the further outside you go, it's like an unbreakable elastic band. It will only stretch so far before it snaps back. The further it is stretched, the more violent the eventual correction. Oh, right, that's pretty cool. Um, you're out of my crew. I want you off this ship. Any ideas where we can find someone who speaks French? Hmm. I've been thinking on that. There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. And that's why I wanted to talk to the vicar. Because we got, you know, the story behind Parvati. At least enough of it. But we don't know that much about the vicar. That's a good question. We should start on the Groundbreaker. It's where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. A great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. Nice. How will a crew manifest help us track down your scholar friend? I'll comb the last six months of departure manifest to track the philosophist's off-world destination. Alright, let's go. Thank you, Captain. Um, do you think I have anything else for me to take? Yes, but no. Ointment. And index of ban banned literature. Always good to have banned literature. All right. I guess there's gravity still mostly applies because it's an outer world game. Yeah, that would make sense. I thought gravity wouldn't apply because we're in space, but it's a video game. Cool. Let's go ahead and go to... Oh. Oh, crud. We can go to a lot of places. Let's go to the groundbreaker first. All right. And here we go. Oh, Phineas' lab. Oh, you can actually go to him? Welcome to the system map. Here you can see all the planets in the system, as well as some special points of interest that you may have discovered. Fly your ship to any location that you've unlocked, though some landing bays will require special codes and keys before you can do anything. Moving between planets is considered extremely dangerous, and all employees are encouraged to remain home or at work. The groundbreaker. That was fast. Um... Oh, there we go. And we just leave through... Let's talk when you're free. Oh, yeah? Hey, Captain. I heard the Groundbreakers got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson. Okay, what about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Um... I thought you said you could keep this boat in good repair. Asking to leave my crew? She, she, not, won't, she won't be much help. Feel free to speak up. You know what? We can do that. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Because even though... Did you want to talk about something else? Um... Let's just move on for now. But even though someone might say they're good at something, that doesn't mean they're perfect at it. Uh, this looks pretty good to me for now. 100 carrying capacity. Yeah, just, just because someone's good at something doesn't mean they can't improve. And I don't want to question someone's ability too much. I need to at least know some sort of basic ability that people can do. Wow, that was fast. There come the textures. Uh, Jane? Just checking your ship's manifest. Smells like grease and unwashed bodies. Hmm, unwashed point. bodies. This hat was just knocked out one of my workers. I'm in the middle of a situation. If you could move along, I'd be obliged. Don't go telling him where to step. Groundbreaker belongs to all of us. Felix, first of all, no, it doesn't. And second, shut the hell up. 
Don't think I won't detain you again. Um. You got enough problems. Mind if I have a word with the kid? What did he do? Rather not get into it. I don't want to be here all day. Was he smoking a little bit of that Mary Jane illegally? Hey, knock yourself out. Or him, if you're so inclined. Whatever you heard, it's all true. All right, what happened? And I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me, always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. Uh, and that's when you resolve your differences like an adult, right? That's when I broadsided him with a tossball stick. Yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman, and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Got any plans? Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together enough bits for a zero G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? Um, am I getting another uh, companion? Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. All right. <laughs> Never caught your name. Um, you in a hurry to get somewhere? Uh, not at all. Just, uh, you know, gonna figure out what to do next. See you around, boss. Wait. All right, well, whatever. Is this stealing? Yes, it is. There's too many people here. Steve door. You'll learn to keep your eyes to yourself. All right. If I can't talk to you personally, there's no point talking to you. So I guess Mardots are like police officers. If I crouch... Understood. I will keep my head down. They don't see me. Hold it right there. Oh crap. Oh crap, they saw me. What do you think you're doing? Um, um... Uh, I was just leaving. I don't want any trouble out of you. Nice. I'm feeling better already. Is there anything of interest around here? No. Well, let's go to... Oh, groundbreaker reputation decrease. Well, whatever. I don't care. What is this? Restricted access. Move along. Do you mind if I go up? Uh, looks like there's a little bit of platforming here. Oh god, platforming on a PC. Oh. we Make it! Oh, thank god I made it. Oh, I was kind of worried I wouldn't. Nice. What's in here? Nice. Heavy ma heavy machine gun. Uh, Corporation Service Award. Nothing in there. Oh, I want to go in there, but I might just break my legs. Whee! Nope, didn't break them yet. Awesome. Another heavy machine gun. There's got a lot of heavy machine guns and protective clothing with safety harness. Dialogue skills. Uh, well, it looks like someone died here. Hmm. I don't think I can go that way. And if I jump down here, will that break my legs? Oh, crap. No, no, no. Too far. It's only my legs. Workbench? Oh. Quest objective requires you to enter a restricted area. If caught inside, you'll be shot on sight. Using a disguise will prevent immediate hostilities. Doesn't mean they will not shoot at you. Just prevent shooting at you for a little bit. Let's go ahead and break down a couple things since I'm not using too much. If I break this down, that is worth four. Oh. 50, level 3. Alright, well, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, just break it all. Just break most of it down. I don't care for the revolver. Armor. <coughs> Excuse me. 13, 9. Yeah, we can get rid of that. And let's get rid of one more. This has stuff in it. 14, 13. Do that. Uh, modify. Install a mod. Mag 2 zip. I mean, I already have a mod on him, so I can't really do anything with that. I did that. Assault rifle. Nope. And then nope. 
Um, there's really not much else. Oh, actually, can we install mods on our teammate stuff? Let's see. Someone's using the the LMG. Can I mod this for our partner? Magnum. Mag to zap. Hmm. Yeah, we'll give them that. Nice. All right. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew chip. I mean, the scholar shipped in and out with. All right. Uh, actually, let me check my armor real quick. Can I add anything to here? Yes. A hunter kit. Increase ranged weapon skills. Um, or increase ranged weapon skills. That's worth fifty. Uh, I'll install this. Yes, please. And then this is a backpack. Ooh! Yeah, give me that. Nice. That's what I wanted to do as well. So, the restricted area. What is this? Oh. Identification, please. Uh, President Hawthorne's ID. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. Oh, great. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. Okay. How do I get this resolved? <laughs> I take it back. I'm not Hawthorne. This isn't my ship. I'm just a weird guy. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. It shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. So why was it impounded? Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I have to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Uh oh. All right. Well, well, we'll talk to him and straighten this out. You take the starch out of him. Well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Well, he doesn't seem like a bad guy. Wanda Dorset over in sick bay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Uh, her shipment? A handful of sand cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Got it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? My ship. Um, how about Gladys? The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Alright. What about a drink? Most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder, straight through security. There's a bar on the starboard side. I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Talk to Vera. She'll set you right. Okay. You need anything else? You let me know. Don't want anyone saying Groundbreaker's not the most hospitable port in the colony. Job Udom Bedford. He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. All right, sounds like a fun guy. There's some a little bit of tension, huh? They can't abide an independent township, especially not one they got to depend on. We're the first and last stop out of this colony. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments any time we like, and that terrifies them. All right. Well, they can't work together, huh? You sure you didn't just step off one of the interstellar freighters? There's no working with the board. They don't share. Not bits, people, or resources. You work for them, or you don't work at all. Groundbreaker cooperating now would be tantamount to joining their ranks, and we sure as shit ain't about to do that. All right, well, keep them pushing. It's a delicate balance, right? We could cancel their freighter's docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in ten trillion little pieces. 
or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? Probably. The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. All right, so they run most of the system. Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing base. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. All right, well, thanks for the info. Sure thing. Uh, don't really, seeing you. I don't really want a job, but can I use this? Cool. Records. Arrivals. Da -da 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 -da. Departures. Da -da 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 -da. Return to route. Messages. These conditions are a joke, right? No, right. Harassment. Don't bother. We're on our way. All right, then. Oh, hello, Vicar. So we need to go that way to Udom Bedford, but we need to go that way to Gladys. 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 Hmm. Excuse me. Thank you. If I take that, that's stealing. Is there anything around here? This looks like... Do I have enemies? Bard. Impact hammer. Very nice. Excuse me, guys. Thank you. I might need this. Well. Uh. This is Halcyon Noon. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Sweating to move boxes. The board would like to remind spacers and other travelers that... Media circus surrounds circus time clowns. All right. Purple berry, something. Energy cells. I don't want to steal this stuff right now. Maybe I'll come back later and steal it. Is there? Is that a vent? Hold on. Steve door. Is this a restricted area? Oh. Well, well, well. What fun? Workbench. Oh, wait. Hold on. Um. I don't want to piss him off. But it seems like I'm going to have to. Ooh. Nearly shot Parvati there. I guess I got some bad people here. Outlaw Striker. Well, I guess one man's Striker is one, another man's uh, Freedom Fighter, I guess, to a degree. Ooh, armor parts. I love it. Not sure if I was supposed to shoot him or not, but what's done is done. Ooh. I hope I'm not stuck in here permanently. Anything down here? God, every time I see this, I just want power armor. I need, put, I need to go back to play some more uh, Old World Blues. Ooh. Um, am, am I stuck in here? I came in through... Was it this? No. Oh! Okay. Interesting. Let's not appear too threatening right now. Oh, we're back here. And I can't go... Is there any more platforming? No? Well, alright. Looks like we gotta go this way. Whoa. Try not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Too late. Lots of unsavory types about. A salt sour candy shell around a sweet purpleberry flavored center. Suck it, chew it, you can do it. Interesting. Mardet, police officer, probably another police officer. Well then, Spacer's Choice. How do you do? And uh, welcome to the rest and go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. Huh. Sorry. Business has been slow. 
anything to occupy the time. All right. Um, how's life? Let's start with that. Fine, as long as the board keeps its grubby mitts to itself. Chief Tennyson holds the ship together, the promenade holds our economy together, and Sublight is the shoddy jewel in our rusty old crown. Sounds great. Sublight. Our local garbage collectors. That Lilia Hagen never met a debris field she didn't like. She freely admits she planted her roots in Groundbreaker to escape board oversight, but I think there's more to it. She's unusual in the head, that one. All right, well, uh, all right, let's see. Oh, you can't miss her. Right behind you, number two. First unit on the left, or second unit from the right, depending on which direction you count from. Uh, how does the ground, ground breaker keep the board at bay? Our chief Tennyson has an independent streak, same as her mother and grandmother who rode this ship on the crossing. There's a reason the board's embassy is a glorified shoebox. While Junlei Tennyson lives and breathes, Groundbreaker remains free. All right. Um, do you do business with promenade merchants? Of course. Most of our supplies come and go through merchants. Company ships and salvage runs are the only traffic we tend to get. I try and steer clear of that creepy fellow in the moon mask. If there's a cost to being a company man, he paid it in spades. All right. Sounds good to me. Before we move on, though. Oh, I thought that was a terminal. Buy now. With added quality, Rizos, buy now. Buy now, buy now. Well, I won't buy, but I will sell. Weapons? No one needs a hammer like this. I'll sell junk. We just got about 80-ish bits. Not bad. This sell... Um, ooh. Light, ass light assault rifle. Not very good. Heavy machine gun. We already have one of those, and I like, I like bits. Armor? Uh, I think I'll sell this one. Better tech skills. Volume of footsteps. And, eh, I'm alright. Anything here? We got five of these. Fun times barrel. Let's sell two. Nice. Here. Mag to zap. Sure grip. Hunter kit. Increases your ranged weapon skills. Um, I'll sell it. I like the bits. I like it to money. Awesome. Spacer. Gladys. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store-bought. Oh. Okay. Phineas sent me. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. Wow. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits... I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Oh, 10,000? Maybe there's a discount. Phineas, that old kook. He was quite the dancer back in his prime, did he tell you? Real light on his feet. Real light in the wallet, too. He still owes me a small fortune. Laws, maybe I should charge you double. Well, hold on. Tell me about this opportunity. Well... I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little more flexibility. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... Depends. Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway, and Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Hmm. Why was it abandoned? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. 
Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. All right, I'm in. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate hmm. bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Sounds good to me. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. All right, what other jobs do you know about? Might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreaker's chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. You'll find her fretting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for fen someone call me a liar. All right. Talk about that opportunity. Sounds good to Anytime, me. Anytime, sweetheart. You Ooh. know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. Nice. Steel trip tease. I like that, at least in the Outer Worlds, it seems like both con both the partners can actually interact with each other. That's really, really cool. Oh, we leveled up to level 8, though. So, let's keep doing. Persuade, lie... Terrified creature movement. Um, oh, Victor Max helped us with this. That's pretty nice. Oh, we do one more. Should be able to get up to 60. And let's get up to 5 for that and hold off on that. Tech. I want to keep increasing my tech skulls to a degree. Leadership. That's all right. Special attacks. Get healing effects. Defense. Dodge distance, harmful status, effect duration, armor rating when using a melee weapon, not even using that. Handguns sound pretty good to use as well. Since I am using weaponry anyways. Do that. Apply. Yes, please. And pooks. Level 1. We do at least one more. Weight isn't bad. We're up to 120 carrying capacity. Vendor prices. XP from companion kills. Max meter. Alone in the party. Walk speed, sprint speed, carrying capacity. Weapon and armor durability loss, crit chance, armor rating. Um, so far it hasn't been really that bad at all. I mean, it's been pretty light on a lot of stuff. How about we do? I don't think I need armor right now. Maybe I might in the end. Companion kills. Oh, this is hard. Walk speed is okay. Carrying capacity. I think we're okay in carrying capacity because I can always break down weaponry. 25% loss. Ooh. This is tough. Walk speed, carrying capacity, armor. I'm thinking. Uh, I don't know. Holy crap, I don't know. I guess we can just do additional armor, carrying capacity. Just give me more armor. We'll play fairly defensively for this playthrough, I guess. Nice. Um, Wait, hold on. Journal, quests, passage anywhere, talk to them, purchase a nav key, we can't purchase it yet, we need 10,000 bits, offered a job, I'm trying to find a distress signal, acquire a science weapon on the groundbreaker, Phineas a science weapon, distress signal, Dr. Wanda door set, Sapphire Wand, security terminal, well how about this, let's go do, find the chief here, that probably would be a good idea, but let's go over to your bathroom. Anyone hiding stuff in the bathroom? No? Okay. Maybe next time. Let's go down a little bit further and see where we're at. Steve door. Steve door. What's the lost hope? Steve door. Steve door. Freighter crew. Freighter crews. Engineer. Server. Vera. Seeking relief from the heat? Till June Lay gets those radiators fixed, I've got the next best thing. All right. Um, hear anything interesting? Some big shot down in Byzantium's holding auditions for a new adventure serial. So yay, another six of those next season. Um, what's this heat issue? The radiators, they're fucked ten ways to Sunday. And we're all sweating buckets wondering when the powers that be are going to get around to fixing it. Ooh, engineering sounds like you have an issue I might be able to help you with. 
couldn't say. And I wouldn't be pouring drinks professionally if I could. All I know is we're cooking in our own juices here and it's only going to get worse. Sounds like when I used to live in Texas. What do you need ra radiators for? They're supposed to gather up all the heat the systems generate and vent it into space. Instead of the heat going where it ought, though, it seems to be blowing straight down the promenade. How long has it been like this? Weeks? I lost track. Too law damn long. I like how they say the law instead of God. It's like too god dang long. But no, it's the law. It's always the law. Engineering. Chief huh. Junlei Tennyson, to be precise. She runs this heat. Mm. Best she can, anyway. Don't know what's got her dragging her heels. But I wish she'd hurry it up. Right, Bink. Alright, maybe I can do something about that. That's not for me to say. But if you're feeling the urge toward helpfulness, you can find Chief Jun Lei in engineering. Okay, what do you know about her? There's nobody who knows more about the station's guts. Any system you could name, Jun's crawled around inside and made it better. She doesn't come around here often, though. Don't see her as much of a drinker. Too straight lace for that. Alright, I don't need, really need a trade, but that's pretty much all the time that we have for today, my friends. Um, yeah, tomorrow we're going to go find the chief engineer, and we'll have a great time with her, because apparently it is smoking hot here. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link below. And I will see you all tomorrow as we explore the rest of the Groundbreaker. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great, great day.